Okay, so uh, here's a video that I'm surprised no one has made yet, or at least I couldn't find one. So as you know that these uh, SPI receivers here on, like for example, here is the Crazy V board, have these little antennas here that are directly soldered to the board and have not that great range. And mainly has to do with the fact that the antenna signal here is being received on this length of wire and um, is blocked by a lot of stuff like cameras and other things, other objects. And so ideally you'd want to get an antenna that is something like this. You can see you have an active element there and for 2.4 gigahertz that is 31 millimeters and then this rest here is ground and then it goes to some sort of uh, receiver and in here what I'm going to do is because there's only a single solder point there, there's no ground there, I am extending the ground off the wire here. I'm not exactly sure if that's going to work so great or not. Well, this is kind of an experiment. We'll see. I'm going to solder that there to where the antenna signal goes here. And then I'm going to solder the ground wire over here to the uh, power ground over here on this pad. And then we have all this extra wire now. We'll be able to extend the length of the antenna out away from the canopy and this should have pretty good reception on this end, at least in theory. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on here. Get this into my build here. This is the, uh, you're going to see this in the Gnarly Primo 3, probably a separate video. And we'll see how this compares to the other Yishin twig that the uh, uh, still has the SPI receiver in it, the HD version, and see if the RSSI has improved or not. All right, so uh, here is what my soldering work looks like. Just have the signal soldered there where the old antenna was, and my little ground coming off here and soldered to the power ground there. And you can see the antenna just sticking up like that. It will be up and away. And then um, I discovered that this, this antenna was the wrong length. It's supposed to be 31 millimeters and it's actually cut to 30 millimeters, so that could also explain why the RSSI was so poor. Anyway, here's a little comparison between uh, the Yixin Twig HD that has this, this type of antenna and the Gnarly uh, Primo 3 that has the upgraded antenna that I've installed here. We'll see if there's any difference. All right, so this is the uh, Yishin Twig HD with the SPI receiver standard antenna. And you can see the RSSI in the lower right-hand corner. See, we're around 40 or so, and now we're coming up to about 50. And I'm in front of me here. So it's gonna go down a bit here and see how far we can get. So, hovering around 30 something here. Telemetry I'm getting telemetry loss telemetry warnings covered. here. So, pretty close to fail safe in telemetry this part lost. of the park. Telemetry recovered. Yeah. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. So we'll bring it back. That's not too far. It's like 200 meters, I'm thinking, at the most. And let's see how the upgraded antenna does. All right, so now we're going to try the upgraded antenna setup. And I'm flying behind me here, so numbers are in the 40s. Kind of bouncing around a lot. Let's go in front of me. Now we're in a near 60s. It's like 10 or so, 10, 15 higher on this antenna setup here on close range. Let's go a little further down. Over here at this part of the park, and it's hovering around 30, 40, a little bit better, not a whole lot better. But uh, I'm not getting the telemetry loss warnings here like I was before. Let's go down a little further here. No telemetry loss warnings. And kind of bouncing around 45 or so. It's definitely better. Let's 
behind this tree here. Yeah, I, I think you definitely can get a little bit more range on this antenna setup, it looks like. And, uh, I'm gonna go all the way out there. I don't, don't want to fail safe. I'm gonna walk, but it does look like it's an improvement, although it's not a huge improvement over the other antenna setup. So, what do you guys think? Let me know.